A drug which was designed to combat leukemia is now showing promise as a treatment for multiple sclerosis, a disease that affects two and a half million people worldwide. Stacy Gleason has this report. We do need new treatments for MS because where we are right now is not where we want to be in the future. But right now, our goal is to have medications that will reduce the development of permanent disability. This is a disease that starts with attacks of difficulty with walking or problems with vision or numbness or weakness, and then over the years changes to a phase of progressive disability. Most patients with multiple sclerosis have sufficient disability that it interferes with day-to-day -day living. Doctors at Cambridge University in England led a three-year trial of a drug which had previously been used to treat leukemia. The drug works on the immune system. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease where some of the body's own immune system cells have turned against itself. Alemtuzumab is a humanized monoclonal antibody that targets these immune system cells. The antibody has shown considerable potential to treat multiple sclerosis. In these early trials, the medication appears to be more effective than the currently approved drug. In this phase two clinical trial, the investigational compound alemtuzumab reduced the risk of relapse by 74% and the risk of accumulation of sustained disability by 71% in patients with early relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. Uh, these patients were observed over a period of three years and some of the patients had reduced disability at the conclusion of the trial. The medication may be a potential breakthrough, but it is not currently approved to treat MS. There were some side effects, but the drug is now in phase three clinical trials. These trials include a robust patient monitoring program so that we can detect known adverse events such as thyroid disorders and immune thrombocytopenic purpura, a rare condition in which low blood platelet counts can lead to abnormal bleeding. While results from the new drug have been dramatic, investigators need to know more about its safety. I'm Stacy Gleason for World Health News Today. When you think health, think IRU.